What is going on, y'all? It is Far Gassier. Hopefully, you're having a great and wonderful day out there in the wasteland. And if you are new to this channel and you like the kind of content that we provide, please take the time out of your day to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. And if you want to be notified when we post videos, shorts, or go live, make sure to hit that little bell notification. Now, friends, what we've got going on is a huge, huge announcement for Fallout 76. And I think it's something that we've all been waiting for. Some of us have been dreading. Those of us that use legacies more than others, they are not looking forward to this. Today, Bethesda dropped a surprise. I didn't expect it to come as early as it did. But January the 24th, Fallout 76 is going offline for a couple of hours. And when it comes back, when we wake back up in the wasteland after after this update, my friends, legacies, hacked weapon mods, they will be a thing of the past. I'm really, really hoping that this also includes the Thirst Zapper glitch. And honestly, I don't even mind if they fix all of that, if they take down the aim down sight glitch for my favorite gun, the Gatling gun, because of the aim down sight glitch. It's the gun I use almost all the time just because it is an amazing, amazing weapon. But, like I said, if they take out the legacies, the hacked weapon mods like they're saying, they didn't say anything about the Thirst Zapper, but if they take the Thirst Zapper glitch out, then my friends, go ahead, Bethesda, please take the aim down sight glitch out, and we will be perfectly, perfectly fine with this. One of the other huge things for us pack rats, most would call us hoarders, but we're just, you know, loot goblins of the wasteland, friends, is... The wonderful, wonderful gunpowder now being able to be junk. We covered it on our PTS update. Uh, you can see a little card for it right here. But y'all, it is an amazing, amazing thing that now when we pick it up, it's just going to be unrefined gunpowder. And it's a thing that I am so, so thankful for. In addition to this weapons with mods that we have removed from the drop pool previously in balance adjustments will also be impacted. This includes weapons such as the Stalker Shovel, Explosive Dragons, and Explosive Energy Weapons. So we're going to have some weapon improvements while this is going on. Assault Rifles will now correctly have the rifle classification regardless of how it's modded. Explosive Bullets now only apply to bullets. Railway Spikes are going to be excluded. They're, they're, they're technically considered bullets. Let's, let's just say that. The Handy Buzz Blade is going to have a greatly reduced VATS AP consumption. Radium Rifles will now have an increased rate to learn mods when scrapping. This is absolutely huge if you haven't learned all those mods because, friends, it, 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 it takes a lot to learn those mods. It really does. And this weekend, it's going to be the Treasure Hunter and Double Mutations weekend. It starts January the 26th at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and goes until Monday, January 30th, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. There's nothing new in here, so for you new players, make sure you get all the plans that you want. Make sure that you do not craft the high quality because the percentage of chance that it increases for you to get plans is not worth the caps. It's it's not. We did it this last time. We shouldn't have. Just buy the medium quality pails if you're going to buy anything. Trust me. You'll thank me later. You get more bang for your buck. And with it said about nothing being new, remember... Even if you've done this event and you've got everything there, there will be those that don't get the rare drops. So, it's a good event to make some money in the wasteland. But y'all, this community is by far one of the best communities that I've ever had a pleasure of being a part of. So, thank you so much for accepting me into the Fallout 76 community as a content creator, as a player, and just as a friend with so many people. We have met so many amazing people we have been taught so freaking much. Y'all, to give back, we posted a thing on our Twitter about this. And January 28th, we are going to be giving away a high-capacity backpack mod, as well as a red Asylum uniform, because we just found our second one. And my rule is, we only need one of each apparel. And with everybody being so awesome, it's time to give back to the community. But I want to give a special thanks to Afrugan, just Jake, Herb Cross, and D Mobster for being channel members and helping support us through our journey through the wasteland. Friends, I hope you have a great and wonderful day out in the wasteland.